Today we got this old Rambler 440 American wagon or Ram Rambler American 440. Either way, it's got a little 232, I believe, in it. Six inline six cylinder. Let me look back here. Yes, yeah, a 232 six cylinder. It ain't in bad shape except for the Whiskey Dent 5000 over here because the whole quarter panel over here is caved in, so is the door. If it wasn't like that, I'd clean this thing up, buff it out, clean that roof up real good, and it'd be a nice little just driver, basically. The last time it was on the road was 95, is what I was told. So it's been parked for about 26 years. The tags went out in 96, and the ex inspection, whatever, 95. I forget what year Arkansas quit doing inspections, but it's got a little automatic in it. And the interior, it does have the swimming pool package. Well, maybe not this side, but it does have the swimming pool package. We'll go around the other side. Open this door up, let it air out a little. Smells like black mold and a dead armadillo in there. See if we still got a swimming pool over here. There we go. See, we still got quite a bit of water down there. Ain't near as bad when I loaded it up on the trailer. The whole floor pan was level front to back with water. I guess that means it's not rusted out. The key is in it. I did not notice that to begin with. <clears throat> Rat nest in there, what do we get? Mm. Yeah. Nothing too special, except for a coupe tires, ice scraper, and there's a 53 Arkansas license plate, nothing special. I did look at the engine already. I'm not sure if it's froze up or not froze up or not yet let's see how you open the hood again does this go this way oh there it is they hide it underneath the bumper there we go the hood hinges are a little sticky i did notice it needed the belt that holds the well goes from the alternator to the fan to the crankshaft i got that already it is missing a spark plug wire didn't notice that yet there is a rat nest there, but if it's not an air cleaner, 90% of the time if they got a rat nest in the air cleaner, for some reason they run. There we go. Well, little two barrel carburetor. Is it froze up? Choke isn't froze. Yeah, that linkage is pretty solid. I think she'll run though. Do the old test to see if she seized up. I can't can't get into good enough grip on it, so we'll throw the battery on here and she she see if she spins over and I guess we'll throw a cool on the thing and go from there. Got a piece of pipe and a hammer now to adjust the starter. It's not the best thing to do to them, but seems that if it is bad, it's easier just to get a new one because rebuilding these things is just about as high as a cheap Chinese starter anymore. And that should have fixed it. That is how you adjust a starter. I mean, I wouldn't do that to a nice one, but it works. And now we're going to find the old dipstick, wherever. There it is. And since it does turn over, we'll check the old. We're not going to change it or anything because, you know, it looks brand new. I mean, yeah, it's got another 100,000 miles on it. It's good. Trans fluid. Oh yeah, it's, actually it ain't bad, honestly. It's got a little bit of black in it, but it's mostly shiny red. A lot of times if it's real dark, it means the clutch discs have been eaten out of it, or sometimes I've even had dipsticks that have metal on them, so. This one may have actually been running when parked. Gonna try the key again, but before I do that, gonna get the green apple Kool-Aid here again. And someone asked where I got this bottle that I use for the carburetors. Walmart sells them. They're 97 cents. They're like food, they're like dispenser bottles or something. They're in like the cooking good stuff. I don't exactly know the exact place they're at, but they're cheap. And they actually hold up to gas, which is surprising. Let's try not to flood the engine completely here. There we go. Carburetor is full. 
we're gonna let it soak here now we try to crank her over some brake fluid because we're gonna try to get this and that's a bolt all be wasn't expecting that there's a bolt on the top of that we'll have to get a half inch because that's what it looks like it is now the chances of just hitting off because i got some gas in there are probably very slim because we haven't even tried to see if it's getting fire or anything like that but we'll see done but i will spray a little bit of gas in it just out of curiosity before we do clean the points because it'd be funny if it just fired right up without doing anything but pouring gas down the carburetor let's see here let's see if it'll hit off without even really doing anything to it nope but the starter adjustment does seem like it's working and I'm gonna cut the power off to the little electric fuel pump that's on it because boy, it's annoying. I already cut the fuel line a minute ago and I guess I'll cut this right. Probably should have cut it closer because when I hooked the one I got up there, wait, yeah, up there on it, we might want to be able to drive it. and Have to wire that back in now. Should have thought about that. I'm over to the How's this bad boy held on here? Ah, oh, it's simple. Just two little. I guess they're screws. Hopefully they don't come out of the cab. See what these points look like. We picked the easy one this time that Oh, there's ants in there. It's always a good sign when there's wildlife in it. We picked an easy one this time. That diamond T last time kind of whooped her butt. They're not stuck. That distributor looks just surprisingly clean. Rotor button's clean. I guess it has a bolt or something in it. But everything's clean, but them points have some corrosion on them. I ain't lost my points file already. And I have. Dad gummit. I just had it too. Oh, I laid it over here. Clean these up a little and we might end up start we might start getting fire. Oh yeah, that's why they ain't working. All nice and corroded, but the rest of it looks fine. Them ants are just pouring out of there. I guess they found a home inside the distributor. Might be because it was growing up in the trees. And if you noticed, I did pressure wash it before we started working on it, but I didn't clean it underneath the hood because I like to make that a surprise and it'd be the first time when I'm looking at it on camera, basically. Only thing I did was look at it and notice I needed a uh, belt. Some reason I couldn't think of that. At least they don't look like the bottom bottom of a pond here. The ants ain't happy. Disturbing their home. There we go. That ought to be fairly clean. Hit the key real quick and see if they're popping. There we go. That should be cool power on. Hopefully. Cool may be bad from sudden. No? We're getting, we'd be getting spark. Points themselves sparking. Let's see here. It'll get you sometimes. Dad gum it.
No, they ain't sparking back and forth. We'll give them some more filing and get them a little cleaner than what they are. Turn that key off though, before I get zapped. It's the first one of these little ramblers I've ever really worked on. Really? I know I can't find brake parts. Well, I can find a master cylinder, but I can't find wheel cylinders for it. Get that good and clean. That should be good. We're just gonna trust that now. And throw that cap back on there. There goes the screwdriver. Set that bad boy back on there and I'm gonna go get a wrench real quick. Yeah, once I tighten that cap back on there and put some brake fluid in there because I know it is locked up and I'm hoping if I put some brake fluid in there and just keep beating on the pedal, maybe it'll free itself up. I've had it happen before, but probably ain't got good enough luck for that. That one's tight now. I've done this before and cracked the distributor cap trying to get them real good and tight. But they're not really supposed to be real tight, but I've done it before. I'm gonna go grab a, I guess it's a half inch 7 16 and take that off there and pour some brake fluid in it. There we go. Holy crap. Runs like a sewing machine. Look at that. Thing runs like it was never taken off the road. It does have a little bit of a tick to it. Bad gum. She's a runner now. Holy crap. <laughs> she smokes a little. Just a little. <clears throat> oh God. Well, that thing does smell. Does have exhaust though. I don't know what gear we're in or think we're in. We don't have brakes, so this might not be the best idea. Well, we ran out of fuel on that one. Yeah, carburetor's dry now, but she does run. We're one step closer. Grab the old green apple Kool-Aid again. Fill these bowls back up. Exhaust is getting a little hot. Fill that old carburetor up. Maybe not get it completely full, but we got some gas in it now. Slap the old spark plug wire on here. It even matches. Oh, B. Oh, the boots don't match down here though. That sucks. I was close though. At least the ends match. There we go. Now, hopefully we can back up and go forwards. We don't have brakes though, so it may be interesting. There's a pond there that'll catch us and there's a dots in there that'll catch us. So we won't go very far. Let's see here. Let that fuel pump run for a minute. 
There's a giant wasp behind me. Hopefully it don't decide to sting me. Golly, it run, it's idling high now. Ugh. Holy crap. Well. There we go. She wants to go. Let's try forward gear here real quick. <laughs> okay, she has a little bit of an idling problem. <laughs> Ooh. Holy crap. Uh, that's something new. I've never seen a transmission do that. It is now out of flood completely. It was full just a second ago. So we're gonna put some more flood in that. I'll be back. Gotta find some trans flood. Hopefully we didn't smoke it. Now that I got some transmission fluid in the funnel, we're gonna put some trans fluid in it. Hopefully I didn't mess nothing up in the transmission. Don't think I did. It's kind of crazy that either all that fluid just shot out of there, which I think's what happened. We still have some fluid in there, so ain't like we ran it without fluid. We just didn't have enough in it. I do believe it just leaked out on the ground or it may have sucked it up into the torque converter because sometimes they do that. But we're just gonna put way too much in it. Cause that's what you're supposed to do here. That should be good. Probably too much, but we'll just let that drain in the carburetor. Oh, the whole, wait a minute. Is that, guess it stops there. Now let's see how much fluid we got. We're to the, we're full now. So I'm gonna start it back up and hopefully Maybe, I don't know. The transmission will work and it won't smoke. Let's see here. Let's put it, take it out, of, put it in neutral. I think that's neutral. Maybe I gotta press the carburetor, the gas pedal. Give it a few pumps. Come on. Okay, we're in reverse currently. That should be park. Huh. Okay, let's put it in park. Or neutral maybe. Let's see what we're doing. I don't know what is with it doing that. It's like it just grabs something or something's wrong in the transmission. Let's see here, there's no smoke this time. Is there even flooding again? We may or may not be just dumping out all this on the ground. Not a drop of fluid in it again. Well, time to put some more fluid in it. That should be enough. Don't know how much I've put in there yet. Let it keep sucking it up. Put that in the carburetor. See here now. I have a feeling this is supposed to go further down than that. Like all the way to here, maybe. Yeah. There we go. It is supposed to go further down. 
what I thought. We are one pint low. So we'll just put that much in there maybe. Now we are a fool. So we should be ready to rock and roll. Maybe. Maybe not. Yes, the tires are flat. We're gonna fix that once we get the transmission where it's actually going into gear and it ain't just making all types of noises and ain't smoking. Turn the key and it'll hit right off. There we go. Put it in low gear and see what we get. Oh, come on. You tried to move, come on. It broke traction. Four tires that hold air. That one's going down pretty fast, but this one's pretty good. But this one over here is like a tire from the 60s or 70s. Well, it's flat now, or almost flat. We're gonna now attempt to move this thing because I think it'll move itself since we got a few good tires that are holding air. You had to probably prime the carburetor again because something on it ain't right. Well, that'll be in, that ought to be enough. <coughs> Throw that up there. Uh oh, we'll get that later. Got to hold your breath when you come in here. Come on, little car. There you go. <coughs> Fuel pump should be running. Yep. Now we're gonna see if we can move. I assume we can. There we go, let's see what we got. Come on. Well, we're spinning tires now. We'll throw her in forward gear. There we go. Maybe we push them drums loose now. The whole thing's got problems. But she does move. We got her moving, we got her running. That's quite of an accomplishment. Well, ain't too big a one. It ain't been parked that long and boy, it was too easy to get running. But next week we'll have a better video for you guys. This was kind of a quick one because we were running out of time to get one up. But got this whole thing running. She runs pretty good. That lifter tick is starting to go away now. They tick anyway and it probably won't completely go away, but now it's got oil up in the top end of the engine. <coughs> it's running a lot better. I did finally buy one of them electric fuel pumps like I've been telling y'all I was gonna get, so now we can get these things running and driving. <coughs> the next one I think we're gonna try to get running, well, I don't know what it is just yet, but you guys will find out in the next video. This tire over here kind of did the what for and bent, or whatever you wanna call it. It's just a bias ply. And this one I got loose, but that other driver side one couldn't get loose. <coughs> That's about to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this content, please consider subscribing and maybe liking this video. And we'll have you guys a better video next week because you can see we got all kinds of stuff to get running. We've already got the Opal running and a few other of these cars. We might get that little Minx over there running. What do you guys think? Or we have a 47 International or a bunch of other ones. Just let me know in the comments which ones we should get running next. Thank you guys for watching.